So this is my 3D design section of my Tinkercad profile. So you can see my ornaments here. I got my jack-o'-lantern here somewhere. Um, and I was playing with the Grinch scribble. I was trying to see if I can make a cookie cutter with the Grinch. But this is the one that I want to show you how to make is the llama cookie cutter. So this is something we will make today. Now, why a llama? Well, this, the library is putting out a llama winter reading contest. So I thought what would be a fun way of adding some awesome llama decors, making some llama cookie cutters. And hopefully I'm going to soon try to bake and use my cookie cutters to make some awesome looking llamas. So that's something that I want to do in the future. So what I'm doing now is you can choose a cylinder. You can choose this half sphere and we're going to make the well, we're going to make the left side of the llama and then we're going to make a mirror option of it. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But let's make sure first that you change your name to, to it could be llama cookie cutter. Or if you just want to change it to cookie cutter for the month of December. So I got my llama cookie cutter or cookie cutter December. Um, I'm going to, sorry, I'm noticing that I'm not the only one with really crazy uh, maybe it's my mouse or something but I'm sorry that Tinkercad tends to zoom in and out very easily I don't know if it's just me but I hope you all aren't having the same issue okay so this is my cylinder I'm not changing the size I'm going to see how this will look making the um, outline of the cookie cutter so I'm just holding option I'm just moving it and why am I doing cylinder shapes you're probably wondering is because I just want to make that like the um, llamas have like the really thick wool kind of like sheep's wool um, that's what I'm trying to portray here now if you want to just do one circle one cylinder you can do that and it'll work just as well so keep an open mind and be creative do whatever you makes you happy to do this cookie cutter the way you want to do it. And I will show you to the first shape because you can technically do this with any cookie cutter shape you want. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a bunch of shapes. I'm going to group them and I'm going to make the outline cookie cutting portion of it. And then I will show you also how you can do it with, um, we can do a star. So I will show you that option. If you just want to do a one of these shapes as a cookie cutter, you're welcome to do that. I think like I said whatever works for you and your ideas, like there might even be a candy cane option here too somewhere. Remember to always check the different shape. Okay, so I got this is the top portion, this is the side, this is kind of like the bottom. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to duplicate it. But I'm going to go up here and you see there's a mirror option. I'm going to mirror this. And the reason why I did this is because it keeps it symmetrical. Uh, there is a reason why I want you to really consider about this symmetry with your cookie cutter. Because it will be a lot easier to do the outline like I said. So right now we're focusing on the main cookie cutting outline. All right, I'm going to group all these cylinders together. I'm also going to make it a little shorter because we do not need. So this is all the cylinders grouped together. Now I'm going to make this shorter in a little bit, but first I want to duplicate this piece. And I'm going to make the duplicated version slightly smaller. So I have 56 by 52. I want to make this 54 by 50. And now as you can see I just want to center it and try to get it as perfectly to the center as possible. And I think this is going to be a really good centerpiece to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut out this portion 
the smaller piece out of the center and this is the outside portion is going to be or the inside portion is going to be the whole outside portion is going to be what is actually cutting out the cookie now before we cut out anything let's make an ear all right so I, I'm, I brought out the two piece and I'm just uh, making it slightly smaller and I'm adding more sides of it to make it rounder now remember you always want to make sure Oh, I don't know if I did that. So I want to make sure that this this ear size matches the other ears the uh the other outside height. So this is four. So this should be four. It's not telling me though. Okay, it's four as well. I take the ear, duplicate it, and I'm gonna slide over the other side. I'm holding down the option or the alt button and I'm sliding over the other side. So I got two ears. Okay, so this is going to be the main out. Oh, before we do that, I forgot to change the inside. So you want to make sure that this wall thickness is a little bit smaller. So we'll make it one. I got two there. I want to make sure I only have one. Okay. Now it might be a little bit thinner than the than the outside portion, but that's okay. Because ears are always gonna be smaller than the head, so <laughs> that's my reasoning behind that. Okay, I think I'm all good. I'm just making sure that everything is gonna be grouped together and you should see, yep, there we go. The llama head is cut out. Now it's not gonna be perfect. So you see over here there's a, it's like a little bit thicker than over here. Maybe that's just Tinkercad messing with my head, but it's going to be a little bit thicker, but that is fine. What you really want to focus on is just making sure that uh, you have your outside portion and you're ready to add some face features. So with face features, I'm going to add the eyeball. It'll be really, really tiny. This is a really big eyeball. Let's see, 18 by 18, let's do 10, uh, 5, okay, yeah, I think this is good. So when it comes to cookie cutters, if you ever looked at a cookie cutter, um, something like this, this would not work. You always want to make sure that if your inside piece is inside, <laughs> you don't want to have it, you can either have it be the same size as your outside piece, which in this case it could be four, or you can have it smaller. So I am going to make it smaller as a three. So what this does, so if I press into it, this will give me the shape of the eye, but it will not cut out a circle out of the dough. Okay, so if you look at, if you have some cookie cutters at home, take a look and see how they are and how you want to make your cookie cutter, because you might want to do this a little differently than I am. And honestly, feel free to make it a little differently than I do because this is your cookie cutter, so you're going to make the cookies out of this. All right, so I have two eyes. Now, I want to use a different shape. I like the I like using the shape of a heart for the nose. I think it's really cute. Okay, let me do five by five. Okay, it might be a little too, too small. Okay, so I will make this a little bit bigger. Let's do seven by seven. So we have to make sure it's not as tall. So I'm going to make this a four. Now that's going to press into the outline. Actually, I'm going to move the, I'm going to actually make the outline a little bit bigger. So I will move it to a five. So I think the one I do have is a seven. So I'm going to make my outline six. This is always something you can change later if you want to. So don't worry about it right now. I'm just doing it just so I don't forget later. Okay, and then I'm going to add another cylinder piece for the nose or the mouth. So off the bat, I'm going to just make that smaller. Let me see where the, so the eyes are a, okay, eyes are three. 
Nose is four. I'm going to make the mouth a three. So it could be the same height as the eyes. I still have enough so that the dough will like press out the nose. So you can kind of see how the mouth and the eyes will be the same. So I have my nose, I have my mouth, I have my eyes. I, I'm, a, I'm sorry, not my mouth, my muzzle, because that is what it is. Um, once again, I'm upping the sides to make it more smooth looking. And now I want to figure out what shape I want to use for the mouth. So I can approach this a few different ways. Um, my plan is to make it like looped. So in this case, I will scribble it just. Like I said, there is some great things about the scribble, but sometimes it could not, it could be a little bit not as um, rounded as you wanted to. And in this case, I'm just gonna do it just for this because I'm not too worried about how the scribble is gonna look in this case. So I just wanna make sure I match it up with the nose because the nose and the mouth are gonna be the same, um, I guess, cut out pieces. Now I'm, I can't get that center perfectly, so I'm gonna make sure I turn off the snap and maybe this will help out. There we go, okay. Bring this a little bit. Okay, I gotta move the mouth again. Okay, so this is my mouth. All right, and I'm gonna have one more final touch to this. And what I did with my other one, I actually made a little spiral scribble. And I thought this was a cute little llama addition. Now you could change the thickness of this. I just forgot to do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best just to make it a little bit thicker. Okay. So I'm gonna add a little spiral to the hair. Let me zoom in a little bit on that. Okay, there we go. So right now it's pretty short, so let me bring it up and once again, it's up to you if you wanna go all the way up to the cut mark or just wanna leave a little bit shorter. Sorry, my computer is crazy. Okay, and we'll go over here and I'm just gonna rotate it just to give it a little more, um, just like a little more different to, there we go. And I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna actually mirror this. Back to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to mirror it. So this is my completed llama head. Now there's one more thing. So any when you make a cookie cutter, if this gets printed out the way it is, it will not be so easy to press into dough. So we want to make one final piece Otherwise, you're just going to have like different spa like spaces of these and you definitely want to have your cookie cutter all one shape. So the easiest way to go about this is just making just using one shape to go over the whole thing. And it could be any shape you want. There's no right or wrong to this. The only thing you want to make sure is that it's going to be shorter than your main cutout portion. And then it also has to be shorter than so say if I were to make it here, I might lose, risk um, the eyes not pressing into the dough well enough. So I want to make it maybe a two. I think that might be a little bit easier. Or I can always make the eyes come up a little bit. You know, I will do that. Just make everything come up a little bit. I'm going to just move this off. And as long as it's under six... So this is my llama head, everyone. I hope you enjoy this. If I've gone a little too fast, feel free to go back and look and over, see what I have, What if you have any questions to, if you have any questions, please ask. 
if you have any ideas and you're not sure how, what to do, then you can ask me as well. This is all about creative thinking and a whole creative processes to making out different Tinkercad designs. So it's my llama. And then once you're done with all the pieces, make sure you group them together. This will help with the whole exporting process. Now, if you wanted to just do a different shape, like say if you want to do a star, all you have to do is just bring the shape out, check the sizing. You see, I will make this um, an even sizing so it's a lot easier to fall through. And um, you just want to duplicate it and then change the size. So it's 35 by 35, do 33 by 33. And once again, you just would cut a hole in the middle of this. Okay, so this is the easy way of making a cookie cutter. I'm just gonna make this a hole, group them. Um, okay, so that's this is the main way of making a cookie cutter with any shapes. So you always just wanna make sure you have that outline with your shapes. So like this is the outline, then this is the outline, because this is what's gonna be cutting the dough. Check out the other videos if you want to go back and make some other things. And definitely check out if you're very if you need extra help in Tinkercad navigating through it, check out all the Tinkercad videos that they have available on their website. They are very helpful, they're step by step, and they will help guide you into using the right tools. All right, I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy the cookies and let me know too if you actually end up using the cookie cars and making your own cookies. I would love to see how they turn out. Thanks.